Yeah. Boom. You can hear me? Everything straight? Yeah, we straight. All right. I'm trying to set the phone. Man. All right. All right. So, um, so everybody will know, I'm Anthony Rhodes. Uh, this is my page. And today I have Donovan Kaufman, uh, who is an athlete going to Vanderbilt. Uh, you can introduce yourself, Donovan, for those who don't know you. Uh, my name is Donovan Kaufman. Uh, I'm at Vanderbilt. I went to Archbishop Rumble. We won state championship 13-0. I won MVP at the state game. And it was overall a good year. Wrestling, everything. Oh, yeah, I forgot you You also do wrestling. All right, let's talk about that. So uh, how does wrestling and football kind of, like, go together, if it does? Yeah, it definitely does. I mean, wrestling shape different. Like, that's the, the most shape I ever had to be in. And then I only did – Two years, not even a full year though. So I always went after football season. So I started my junior and I finished fourth in state my first year, which wasn't bad. Like to say, it was my first year wrestling. Then I was in the one ninety five weight class. Like that wasn't no push up weight class. Then I came back my senior. I only had like one practice and I had one match before state, but I automatically qualified because I placed last year. And then I finished in state uh, this year. I lost by one point. It was it was bad. I hated it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but um, so but it was a fun experience though. Yeah, definitely, definitely. Yeah. But it correlates to everything, you know. Cause, like I don't really know the move. Like all I did was a double leg takedown. Like couldn't nobody keep me on the ground. Right. So, like, I, was, <laughs> I have pictures of me doing like that on the football field doing a double leg takedown. So. Right for sure. Uh, so are uh, you going to Vanderbilt this year? So talk about that. Like, what made you choose Vanderbilt? Well, for one, you know, everybody say S. In education, but for me, it's, it's deeper than that because, like, I came up here and it felt like home. Asheville, I'm in the middle of the city, like, it's a big city. I'm not like in a country, anymore. like, I'm not an hour from the airport, I'm like 10 minutes from the airport, so I'm right in the middle of the city. The coaches, like, it felt like home. When I first pulled up here, I came and took a unofficial when a draft because the draft was up here like two years ago. Right. So I draft. And all the coaches, like, every coach was outside waiting on me to come in. Like, me. me and my mom and my sister was in the car. And I'm like, damn, like, everybody really out here. Like, that's that's they showing love. Right. Um, I saw that you was wearing one this year. Yeah. That, that's kind of big for a freshman. Like, like talk about that. Like, how did that make you feel? Well, so what happened was the dude was supposed to – um, I was supposed to have five, but the dude who had five, make some shape and then he was like all right so one was originally retired. like one been retired for like six years yeah, yeah. So, get out of retirement let me wait so. Which, um last year wait who were five um i'm trying to think about his name um because i'll be using it to do your jersey swap i can't think about it but yeah. um but uh, yeah for sure that's that's nice like, i saw you doing one i'm like oh that's a big deal it's like a lot of freshmen might get like a big number but you got yeah. one, like, that's elite, but elite for the elite, I guess. Um, so, like, talk about, like, what you learned throughout your, I guess, four years and, like, what you plan on bringing to college with you, like, as far as knowledge and stuff that you learned at Rumble. I mean, for one, like, because Monica taught me a lot of stuff, like, a lot of key reads, and it's basically the same thing up here. Like, the defense and stuff is all the same. It's just different technology. So, hopefully, well, what I'm going to bring here, like, just, playmaking ability, like somebody that could do it all. Like, that's what we need. Like, we just need somebody that's going to be uh, – somebody that's going to be here, basically, just to be a playmaker. And that's what I came here for, trying to change it. For sure. So, like, are you going just as, like, a uh, – well, you play safety, right? Correct? Yeah. All right. So, are you going just as a safety or are you going, like, as an athlete? Basically, athlete. I know – I'm probably not going to get no offense this year, but most likely next year. In special teams, I'm going to definitely be in the uh, kickoff return, punt team. Return all that day. For sure. For sure. Um, you my bad. Your uh, audio had got messed up. Um, so like as far as for people who don't know you, like what can they expect to see when they hear the name Donovan Kaufman? I don't know. Yeah, a lot of people ask me that question, bro. Like I'm not even about to lie. Like I'm not about to tell you expect none of that. Like I just play football, bro. Like that's it. Like I don't be out chill. Like, before the game, I don't be like, oh, I'm about the ball. Like, you can literally ask anybody that's on the team. They ask me what I'm about to do. Before the game, I'll be like, bro, I'm just about to play football. Like, that's what I always say, just play football. For sure, for sure. That, 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 because that's like an interesting question because you can do so many different things. 
And a yeah. lot of people will try to praise yourself in a higher way because you you are like such a special talent. Like, but it's good to see that you like humble. And you just play the game and let your Thanks. game speak. For sure. Um. So, like, what are you looking forward to as far as for your uh, freshman year? Like, of course, it's gonna be all SEC conference play. Just like, what are you looking to bring? I'm trying to go uh, freshman team all SEC. I'm just trying to get no. I want you to know, like, when you think about Vanderbilt, you think about Donovan Kaufman. Like, just like when you thought about Rummel, you thought about Donovan Kaufman. I'm just coming to make my mark. Like, I'm a freshman right now. I don't have no name for myself. I'm starting from nothing. So, I have to make a name for myself. For sure. That's, that's a great mindset. Just keep working, keep keep grinding, keep building. Um. So, like, let's see. Um. Talk about some – oh, what is the best feature of your game? Like, what do you feel like is the best feature of your game? Just instinct, because that's what I really play off of instinct. Like, a lot of it, instinct. Like, I look at film sometimes, and I'll be like, damn. Like, that wasn't – like, I wasn't thinking about that. It's just instinct. For sure. You just got I, – I see I see that when you play. It's just like you just attack. Like, you just, just, just let your game show, I guess. Like, it just – I would say, like, it's just action first. It's action yep. first. Like, you just going straight in. No overthinking. Just play your game. Play to what you do. Play science. For sure. Uh, talk about the state championship. Like, like as far as going through, going undefeated, running through everybody, being the best team in the state. Like, talk about that, though. I mean, a lot of people, you got people like Acadiana and, you know, call every year, call sort of guard. They the best. I know for a fact they want to beat us. Lord. <laughs> they know for a fact they want to beat us. And they probably want to beat us. But anyways, uh, I mean – it was it was definitely it was fun. It was like a movie. I'm not even about to lie to you. Like it was definitely I'm not gonna say it was easy because it wasn't easy. I mean, like we played big games, like Curtis game, for instance. We was down fourteen nothing at halftime. And when we went up there to um to North Carolina, oh, yeah. uh, like our first game, like we playing these big ass dudes, like everybody <laughs> NFL size linemen, bro. So it's like we was always undersized, but like it didn't matter. Like our team was filled with dogs, like it didn't matter play like we wasn't about to stand down but it all just started at practice like I know defense, like we practice damn good like nobody on defense ever made practice so like you gotta practice how you play so that's dedication that's why y'all had the best defense in the in the state honestly y'all was one of the best defenses in the country like like that's what I would question like everybody playmakers but um yeah talk about some uh, other people on your team who you like expecting some big things for for this upcoming season I know Pig, Pig got a ball. I mean, really, everybody that's going somewhere, like, I expect them to Pig, Brenton, Coy, you got Jordan, uh, who else, Corey. Um, I expect all them, Gavin, like, I expect all these dudes to, like, do something. Like, like I know a lot of them, some of them probably not going to start, but I mean, right, so they're going to be in special teams, and I expect them to make the best out of it. Like, I expect them looking forward to the play. Thanks, uh, I mean, Coy, another big name as far as that just came out of Rumble. And both of y'all in the SEC, so talk about possibly having to play him. And, like, what you going to do if you got to check him? Dude don't want to play me, bro. That's why I like <laughs> <laughs> bro. Dude don't want to play me, oh, Dude don't want to play me. But if I got to check him, what you mean? It's clamps. I mean, it's all love, but it's, it's cool. Uh, I ain't going to catch him. He might catch a ball or two, but I'm going to strip him. Like, it ain't even matter. <laughs> But also speaking about that, like as far as covering, like you are a safety, and some safeties might not necessarily like to cover. Like, do you do you like doing all aspects of your game? Like, is, do you feel like there's a weak point? Is everything sound? Yeah, I mean, definitely. My man covers probably the weak point because I didn't play it a lot. So like, right. to get better at something, you got to do it a lot. But I mean, like over the summer, of course, I've been working on it. But that's probably the weak part of my game. It's coverage, but working. For sure, for sure. That's, that's, that's good to hear. And uh, so, other than besides the guys who already graduated with you, uh, talk about um, I guess some underclassmen that you have that's on Rumble that you're looking forward to some big things. Of course, everybody. Uh, do I mean Rumble? I'm looking to see like a lot of the receiver core. I'm trying to see like what they gonna do because a lot of them, like, they haven't really been like guy. Uh, look, I've been seeing Frank he's been working out. He didn't got weight. Yeah. Out. Yeah, so I've been seeing, like, I'm excited to look at it. But, you know, I know Logan going to ball. I know right. Obi going to ball. Like, we know the people that's going to ball. But it's not just at Rumble. Like, I, like, one of the proofs from Louisiana, 
happy to see that. Uh, Arizona, I'm loving it. So everybody got to eat. Everybody got to eat for sure, for sure. Um, anybody you looking to try to bring on Vanderbilt? I help switch to Vanderbilt. I mean, I'm not really into the recruiting aspect of it, but like, I mean, if you come to Vandy, like, I'm not gonna tell you not come. Like, it's a great school. Like, hopefully, like, just seeing me come, like, that'll make a difference. Like, you seen you seen me play football. Like, you know, like it's it's ball is out you. Like, it's just hard for Vandy to win. Like, you in the SEC, and like you, it's hard for them to get like real good uh, talent because like the grades, like you can't just be dummy. Right. 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 <laughs> So, but like, yeah, but I'll be looking at film. It don't even be about like the like that they talent is not there. Like they got the same type of talent as everybody. It's just um mental. Like it's mental. I'll be looking at. It's a lot of stupid mistakes that like that they make. Like that causes that. For sure. Um. So as far oh yeah on the uh, aspect side about Vandy, like as far as you going there, like you're not just getting athletics. Like it's a great academic school, one of the best in the nation. Yeah. As far as is that, and uh, hold on, let me take a break. Uh, if anybody has any questions, you could drop them in the chat, and we'll uh answer some of those questions too. If anybody have anything they want to say, but uh, let's talk about uh, like, what was your hardest game prior for the season? Definitely Catholic. That was definitely the best team we played for a fact. All right, for sure. Like, what about them made it just so hard? It was just they was so fundamentally sound. Like they hit on all the assignments. Like they was key. Like it was a real life like game like a disciplined team so like that was definitely one of my best games I mean one of the hardest games that I played for sure uh, yeah that's, yeah I saw that game it was very like close competitive the whole yeah. way through the like it was through. it was real evenly matched for sure uh, as far as on the opposite team speaking about different teams but uh, who was probably the hardest person you had to cover? Or some of the best players you played against, just throughout your whole high school experience, or even at camps. I don't know. I ain't go to a lot of camps. I ain't even about to lie. Right. Sure. Never really. I never was into camps. Like I only went to the the camps that I knew I was getting free stuff from. So. <laughs> I'm like, but like, like I'm I'm not even about to lie. Like the hardest person that like we ever played was probably like. I wouldn't say nobody. And that's, like, not bragging. It's just, like, how good our defense was. Like, right. nobody was ever, like, damn, bro, we can't stop, dude. Like, no. So, I couldn't say, like, it was somebody. Like, we played in a good play, but nobody gave us hell. Like, it was never like that. I understand. But, like, yeah, I, I, I feel that. Because I know sometimes people be, like, they had, like, one person who would just, like, scorch their whole defense. Yeah. Like, but, it was like that. I couldn't say nobody. For sure. Uh, talk about some people who you look up to as far as, like, who you try to, like, model your game after. To be honest, I don't necessarily try to model my game after nobody, but, like, because when I say I'm, like, I'm taking it over at the same time. I'm not saying it's wrong to model your game after people, like, I just don't. But, like, it's a couple safeties out there that I like, John Taylor, obviously Tyron, uh, Dawson. Um, I mean, Dawkins, not Dawson. Um, <laughs> Yeah, that's mainly, like, them three safeties. Like, that's really who I, I watch a, a lot of. Oh, uh, somebody asked, uh, Baron asked, how was it practicing against the Notre Dame commit big-timer Logan Diggs? <laughs> <laughs> Logan, Logan. I mean, bro, I ain't even about to lie. Our defense, we killed the uh, offense at practice. We killed the offense every day. So I Logan caught hell with us, so that's that's why Logan got something like, like he couldn't really run nowhere. Like, good thing I did for many years today. Put it like that. For sure. Uh, on, speaking of running backs, uh, y'all got Jalen on y'all team. Jalen uh, Sturgis, I think that's how you say his name. Number yeah. seven. How was it tackling him? Like he's so big. Like I've been one to ask that. He's dude. so big. Yeah, that's that's definitely a big ass dude. But he he think he um. He think he uh about one eighty. He he think he like the move like, but in a game, oh. all right, he was dropping on people. But like at practice, I mean, we didn't really go live a lot because like our defense, like we wanted to, but like the offense, like you know, the we offense, the, the right. offense, the day they wasn't really with it. But like the times we did go live, Jalen, he a big ass back, bro. Like you ain't just about to bring him down, right. like that. Like you got to bring some stuff with. You. 
For sure. Um, and yeah. But uh, let's see. Talk about uh some of the coaches, I guess. I mean, you said when you went to Vandy, like, they all kind of just came out and greeted you with, like, open arms, like, made you really feel like family. But, like, who was that first coach that you, like, that contacted you and, like, that just tried to, like, get you into that Vandy spirit and just warm you up to them? Uh, Coach Mattioli. Uh, he the safety coach. That's the coach right now. Uh, yeah, Coach Mattioli. He um was the first that I really talked to from Vandy. Like, they had came out there. Now I talked to, I think it was him, somebody else. Every time they came down here, it was him, uh, Coach Aaron. He with the Eagles now. He don't coach college no more. He with the Eagles. Uh, coach Fitz and the D coordinator, but the old D coordinator. But now they got a new D coordinator. It was like all of them came down. But the first coach I actually talked to, uh, Matt. Um, are there, is there anybody you're looking forward to playing? Team, player, anybody that you're looking forward to matching them to? I'm just looking forward to playing everybody, to be honest. Bro, I'm just ready to play football, like, in all honesty. I wish we did play LSU this year, though. I really did want to play. <laughs> I'm looking forward to that old Miss game, though. Yeah. Yeah, because for a lot of – uh, at the beginning stages, well, at least when I was getting into it, like, I saw, like, that's why I thought you were going old Miss. Yeah. Like, it seemed like old Miss heavy. Yeah. But, um, and nobody else has any questions. Nobody else has any other questions. And that's all my questions. So I guess thank you for your time. Um, what size like jacket do you wear? A large. All right, for sure. Cause uh, I got my jacket with my logo on it, and I want to thank you for your time. So I'm a, uh, I'm a, I'm gonna give you one of those whenever you get down here. Just let me know, and I got one for you. Thank you. For sure. Thank you for your time. No problem, bro.